Happy Friday! Welcome to Camp Kindergarten. Alright. So I will put my Polly Pocket before Camp Kindergarten and then I can't see you over there, sweetheart. I was playing with Polly Pocket before Camp Kindergarten and then, and then I found this up there. And this is a Polly Pocket sized giraffe. Ah. And the Paul Pocket makes it a big, big, big giraffe. Yes. My girls are very into Polly Pocket lately. Because I get, because if I get my, my Polly Pocket out, I'm going to oh. play with it forever. These are not, these are, we're not going to do that for now. They're not taken. Oh my goodness, it's Friday. All right, remember, we're going to choose our attitude today, right, kids? Oh, your hair is atrocious. Come here, let me put that No, my it's statical. It's statical? I, I like statical. statical hair. All right, um, choose our attitudes, right? Um, so, for example, I am very tired today because me I woke too, up twice in the middle of the night. I, uh, because Wells came in to Molly's room. That's how she Well, it did. She had a bad dream, so she came in, and she, I did not know... And she was in my room, and I was sleeping, I was sleeping, I was sleeping, and I think I rolled over, and I opened my eyes, and she was right there, and I was like, ah! I said, "Wells, well, you scared me, and my heart was pounding, and that was at like 3 o'clock in the morning, so, uh, and then I got a Charlie horse in my leg. Do you know what a Charlie horse is? What? A Charlie horse is when a muscle in your body makes a cramp, and it's really painful, and that woke me up at like, I don't know, 5.30 or something, so... I'm very tired today, but I'm going to choose my attitude and so I'm that I am not grumpy pocket tired today. and crabby, that and I'm going to be, can you please stop talking when I'm talking? Thank you very much. I'm because going to do my, pocket. please stop talking while I'm talking. Please stop talking while I'm talking. Please stop talking while I'm talking. No, it is my turn, and you're interrupting. I am not going to listen to that. All right. Good morning. It's Camp Kindergarten. Kinsey's working on trying to get her two marbles to put in the, in the Be Kind jar for Camp Kindergarten. We'll see if she gets those today for being a good listener and a good participator. All right, good morning, Maddie and Ellie and Sakshi and Annabelle. Yes, now I will because I was in the middle. I, what, what, did, what do you want to say? Um, my Polly Pocket didn't get any sleep. Your Polly Pocket didn't get any sleep? Because I was playing on the Friday. Okay. Good morning, Maddie, and Ellie, and Sakshi, and Annabelle, and Olivia, and Bennett, and Kieran, and Kevin, and Melina, and Mara, and Hadley. Melina and Mara both start with, hmm, I do not have those names um, in front of me when I was writing the message. So their names begin with M. Good morning, Gracie Bear, and Vital, and El Eliana, and Michael. Oh, Michael, yep, Michael, Michael. Um, good morning, Nicholas, Mariana, and big brother Joseph is joining today. Welcome to you. Good morning, Caden, and AJ, and Lily, and Olivia, and Kylie, and Mackenzie, and Molly. Molly begins with mmm. Very good. I did not have her name before I put that up on the board last night. Good morning. Um, did I say your brother Colin? Colin. Ezra, and Jacob, and Lily Joe, um, who's visiting Maryland. Um, well, uh, visiting Grandma in Maryland. Good morning, Jacob and Deborah and Anna Kate and Nora and Nolan and Harvey and Skeeter and Maddie and Olivia, Emma and Wyatt and Liliana, Grace and Thomas and Nolan and Casely um, and Liliana and Charlotte and Ryan Marie and another Charlotte Mommy. and Samuel. Samuel, Mommy. Samuel. Mommy. Happy birthday to you. Mommy. Yes, Kenzie. Um, will you look at this? Mommy, mommy. What? Mo um, will you look? If you didn't have that C or that or that, that would be my name. Are you close to your name? That says Kenzie, K E U K I. Good morning, uh, Reese, but that was a good observation. Good morning, Reese, and Nikki, and Lainey, and Ella, and Harper, and Aria, and Nate, and Patrick, and Jakey, and Hadassah, and Hanaya, and Sydney, and Jocelyn, and Mia. And Nadia and Tegan and Hazel and Summer and Kashab and Leonardo and Robert and Natalia and Lucas and Reagan and Preston whew, and Priscilla and Caleb and Liam and Quinn and Pierce and Rishi and Sia and Nora and Emma and Madeline and Dax and Jalen and Skyla and Liam and Landon and Ruby and Angel. We have a lot of good morning.
Lions today. Good morning, Lena and William and Colette and Sierra and Landon and Elijah and Emma and Alexandra and Coco and Audrey K and Aiden. Let's all see how we're feeling today. Mommy? Yes, you can say them. Um, Good morning, Robbie. And I Riley Hodge. My, and I Rob. I the letter and my name was an M with you. Yeah? Because then I would be on the message. You were on the message when we did K's. Good morning, good morning, Gracie Bear and Mary and Kaden. Here we go. Oh, it's snowing out. Very fine snow right now. You can barely tell. Maybe it's rain. I don't know. Here we go. Hello, everybody. How are you? Hello, everybody. How are you? Hello, everybody. How are you? How are you today? Good morning, Leo. How are we all feeling today? Are you feeling happy? Are you feeling mad about something? Are you feeling sad about something? Are you feeling tired? Uh, or are you feeling fun? How are you feeling today? Let's no all way. good morning, Angel and Gia and Camila and I Tristan. Frustrating when I'm talking and somebody is talking when I'm talking because it makes me have a hard time focusing on what I'm trying to say. So right now, while Kinsey is mommy, 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 mommying me, I'm finding it a little bit frustrated, and I'm choosing to ignore her because she is not doing what she's supposed to be doing. Kinsey, if you want to say something, how are you going to get my attention? Instead of saying mommy, 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 how can you get my attention? That's a better way to get my attention that is not interrupting me. Mommy. No, that's not it. Can you eat me? Mommy, can you eat me? That's not it. Wells is on to something. Can you eat me, Mommy? How can, you, how can you get my attention when I'm in the middle of something without interrupting? You don't know. You don't know. Okay, well, here's something you could do. You could tap me on the shoulder, and then I might do this which means just one minute, and I'll answer you. Well, I, I okay? don't have a lot of patience sometimes. I know you don't have a lot of patience sometimes, but we have to work on Oh, my goodness. Let's all swim like a fish. Good morning, Mila and Liam and Parker and Hudson and Stella and Tristan and Gia and Hila. Um, Thank you, but not right now. We have been having way too many interruptions this morning. Uh -uh. No, remember, hold your thought, and I'll get to you in a moment. Let me finish this. No, no, let me finish this song. you wanted to say to me this whole time? Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you for holding on to your thought. It's because I went like this. I, I changed my mind. I changed my eyes so I could see out. And I saw the snow. Okay. Actually, I'm going to have you sit right here. We're going to do our phonemic awareness. Okay? Are you I guys needed ready? To, I needed that. I'm about to take one of your marbles away from the two marbles that you guys are putting in your behind jar. Because we talked about this before class, the way that you earn your two marbles is how? To be kind. 
But how are we going to do that in camp kindergarten? What are you going to do to earn your two marbles? Um, good. And how are you going to be good? By doing stuff good. Mm -hmm. By participating, right? And sitting up nicely. All right, are you all ready at home to do our phonemic awareness? All right, get your, you get your listening ears on. Can you show everybody how to get your listening ears on? Awesome, thank you. All right, rhyming words. Which word rhymes with? I bet you all are so good at this by now. We've, this is our fourth day that we've been doing it. Here we go. I go first. You repeat the word after me, and then we figure out which word rhymes with it. Here we go. Ooh, look at the top. Uh -huh. Rock. Your turn. Rock. Which word rhymes with rock? Lock or hid? Lock. Can you say it nice and loud? Because they can't, this microphone doesn't pick up very well. I need to change the settings Lock. and they can't hear you. Lock. Very good. My turn. Sit. Your turn. Sit. Which word rhymes with sit? Hop or quit? Quit. Very good. My turn. When. Your turn. When. Which word rhymes with when? Ten or said? Ten. Ooh, that's a tricky one. Listen carefully. Ten. When and ten rhyme. Very good. My turn. Can you sit on your bottom, please? Quack. Your turn. Quack. Which word rhymes with quack? Van or pack? Which word rhymes with quack? Van or pack? Pack. Pack. Very good. Good morning, Mabel and August and Omoira and Carlene and Emilio. Um, okay, here we go. Two more. Hut. Your turn. Your turn. Hut. No, no. Hut. Hut. Which word rhymes with hut? Get or cut? Cut. Cut. Very good. My little rhymer. All right, last one. No, I'm a frog. That's You're a frog. One. Okay. That's one. Okay. Gem. Your turn. Gem. Which word rhymes with gem? Hem or tap? Tap. The word is gem. Which word rhymes with gem? Hem or tap? Hem. Hem. Very hem. good. Nice job. All right, here come our three words that all begin with the same sound and then we're going to push that sound up. Here we go. Repeat after me. Listen carefully. Are your listening ears ready? Let's get them ready again. All right, here we go. Player, pair, present. Your turn. Player, pair, present. What sound does it start with? Very good. My turn. Window, week, water. Your turn. Window, week, water. Mm, let's try that again. <laughs> Window, week, and water. What sound do they all start with? <laughs> Very good. I'm afraid you're going to fall. Can you please be careful? My turn. Banana, Banana. better, bake. Your Banana, turn. Banana, better, bake. B, b, b. Very good. B, b, b. My turn. Nickel, name, neck. Your turn. Nickel, make neck. No, don't do it so fast. <laughs> Do it, no, do it right. Nickel, name, neck. Your turn. Nickel, name, neck. What sound did it start with? Nah, 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 nah. Mm, mm, mm. Very good. All right, the last one is guest, gum, give. Your turn. Guest, gum, give. What do they all begin with? Like you're drinking a glass of water. Very good. All right, two more different sections, and then we're going to sing another song, okay? Can you turn around, please? Thank you. All right, we're going to do two parts of the word, the first part of the word and the second part of the word, and then we're going to smush them together. Get your smushers ready. Smush, 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 smush. Kinsey, are your smushers ready? I don't think so. Get your smushers ready. Um, can you please turn around and help me out? Thank you. My hands don't work. Here we go. Ha. Huh. Mm. Um. Ha. Huh. Mm. Hey, come on, kids. But my hands don't like smush. This is what we're doing right now. Okay? 
I don't want to take a marble away, but I will. Ha, hmm. And then you say, ha, hmm, hum. Like, I'm going to hum a song. K, J. Like Coda sleeps in a cage at night or a crate. Co t. Coat. Coat. Like Very we good. wear our snow coat. Yeah, you know what? Just down the stairs I want you to face me, actually, okay? Because I'm I'm making my motions backwards for us so that they're they're the right way for them. So I want you to I want you to do what I'm doing, okay? Here we go. Um. Pa. Use his hands. Pa. Pa. Yes. Can you say it after me though? Pa. 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 Very good. My turn. Mommy, will you take the little more at me? Well, I want them to be able to see what I'm doing. Why don't you? Why don't we? Why don't we move you like this? Stand up for a second. There. Okay. Awesome. All right. You ready? It's like we're in school, right? My little student here. Okay, my turn. Lie. Oh, you are your teacher. Lie. T your turn. But you used to teach baby, not kids. Can you help me, please? Lie. T your turn. Lie. Show me your hands. Lie. T what is it? Light. Light. Very good. My turn. Two more. B. T your turn. You, then you go. Then you go. Feet. 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 Very good. You want me to do it with you? Okay. Tap. Your turn. Tap. Tap. Very good. Your hands feel good on Aw. Okay, now we're going to do it backwards. We're going to take our smushed up words and we're going to break them apart. Okay? So, here we go. The word is Job. Job. J. Ob. Ob. Oh, I did that wrong. I did that wrong. Let's do it again. Job. 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 Okay. Here we go. Smush it together. Luck. 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 Okay. And these are kind of tricky. Two more. Oops. Seat. Eat. Okay, I'm gonna do one last one. This one's not working very well. Here we go. Mud. Mud. Mm. Mud. Very good. All right, let's sing a song because it's time to just sing a song. Okay. Good morning, Emerson. Let's see here. I got another birthday I need to write down.
Not right now. I'll blow that balloon up for you after camp kindergarten, okay? Because right now I need you to be participating. But just, don't, just keep it like this, Mom, when, when you blow it up, because then it will blow all the around the house, and we love that. I know you do. And we'll fall in the house and say, yay! You girls love to, um, this balloon. You know what song we haven't done in a long time, and I will need to practice before we do? This is a shoe tire song. That was a long one we haven't done. All right, let's sing our months of the year. Our months of the year. Here we go. January, February, March, April, May. We go outside and play, play, play. June, July, August, and September. Back to school so we remember. October, November, and December. We know our month, so we end the song here. We know our month, so we end the song here. Very good job. All right. I'm going to scoot this over so that you can see the calendar a little bit better. And we are going to do our calendar. I need to add some new blue tape onto my um, days of the week. So for today, just like yesterday, we are not going to do the blue uh, days of the week. But we will just look at our calendar. Okay. All right. Kinsey, we are at the very start of a new year. What is the name of the month that we are in? January. What? January. January. Just at the beginning of the song. January, February, March, April, May. Okay. Kinsey, what day of the week is it today? Can say on? What day of the week is it? I'm gonna have to take that away from you if that if that distracts you, which it seems as though that's what's happening. Um, what day of the week is it today? Do you know what day of the week it is today? What? You have to use your words. Why Okay. Um, this is my last time talking about the balloon. If I have to ask you to put the balloon away one more time, the balloon is gonna go sit outside of this room. Thank you. Where can I just please and put it? Are you listening to me? Yeah. Okay. I close Today is Friday. Know Very good. We, we follow our finger along to find the next blue space, pull our finger up, and we figure out that word begins with the letter F. And if we can't remember what, what day of the week begins with F, we can keep our finger here and say Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Very good. Friday begins with F. If today is Friday, what was yesterday? Can say what was yesterday? Which way are we going to go? Thursday. Very good. Yesterday was Thursday. And can say if today is Friday, what will tomorrow be? The handles. Saturday. Tomorrow is the week. Very good. Saturday. Morning. Kinsey, what Morning. number are we going to put in? Eight. Eight. Let's count. Ten. Help us count. One. Us means you and me, kiddo. Help. They're going to help us count. So can you help us? We're going to count together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight. Eight. And what is our pattern? Let's look at those scarves on those snowmen. Green, 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 red. Green, 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 red. Red. Very good. Can you put the red scarf up there? Do you need to go to the bathroom? I just went. Okay. Is that red? There you go. All right. Very good. Today is Friday, January 8th, 2021. What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather like today? Is it sunny? Is it rainy? Is it snowy out today? What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather like today? Is it cloudy? Is it windy? Is it foggy out today? What is the weather like? Kissy, what's the weather like where we are? Snowing. It is a little snowy, but not, but kind of. Um, and what's the temperature? Is it hot, warm, cool, or cold? Hot. Cold. Cold. All right. And 
and um, cloudy or sunny? Can I do that? Yes. I know it's, thank you. Thank you for giving that to me right away. Can you put those in there for me? Let's see what the weather is like across the country. Meteorologist Megan coming at you. All right, let me see here. It is <laughs> sunny and cold in Massachusetts. Massachusetts is over here, the purple, tiny little arm of a state. Um, Emma says it's cloudy and cold in central Indiana, this orange state right here. Um, Angel says it's sunny and cold in Pennsylvania, this red state right here. Um, Lila says it's rainy and cold in South Carolina, over here, this red state. Okay. Oh my goodness, guess what everybody, guess what Kinsey just did. She wanted to tell me something and instead of coming up and interrupting me, do you know what she's doing? Don't move, I'm going to show you what she's doing. You ready? Look at her, she's raising her hand because she wants to tell me something. That is how you can get my attention without interrupting. Kinsey, what would you like to say? Um, do giraffes sleep standing up? Do giraffes sleep standing up? That is a great question that I don't know the answer to. We'll have to look it up after class, okay? All right, it is cloudy and cold in Virginia. Virginia, the green state right here. Um, cloudy and cold in Ohio. Lots of cloudies and colds today. Cloudy and cold in Ohio. Ohio is the blue state. Cloudy and the snow's melting in Illinois. I agree. Cloudy, rainy, snowy in Illinois. Cloudy and cold in Michigan. This purple state right here. Um, bum, 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 bum. Ooh, it's frozen in Colorado. This purple state over here. Um, and foggy in California. This big, long red state. Um, awesome. It is partly cloudy and cold in Delaware. Delaware is this teeny, 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 tiny state. Awesome. All right, overcast in the panhandle of Florida. Over here, very good. And Zobias says it's cloudy and cold in Missouri. Missouri is this red state. It is also a neighbor of the state of Illinois. Cloudy and cold in Kansas. I keep getting new states. Woohoo! Cloudy and cold in Kansas. Snowy and cold in Kentucky. Look at all these states that are joining us today. Awesome. All right, and we've got some sunny but chilly and cold in Massachusetts. Oh, somebody answered, Kinsey. What? Um, giraffes do sleep standing up, but they occasionally lay down. Thank you, Robin, for that um, information. But what does occasionally mean? Occasionally, that's a good question. Um, so Kinsey just asked the question, do giraffes sleep standing up? And I said, I don't know. We'll have to look up that answer after class. Um, and somebody commented on that, and they said that giraffes do sleep standing up, but occasionally they lay down. And Kinsey said, what does occasionally mean? Occasionally means every once in a while. Like normally they'll, they'll sleep um, standing up, but once, a while, once in a while they might sleep laying down. On the tree. On the tree? On a tree with his, with his head getting him up. That's how they do it. Oh, because they have such a long neck? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> okay. Giraffes sleep standing up, but only for about 30 minutes a night. Oh, this is so interesting. And giraffes sleep standing up with one eye open and both ears moving. Who knew all this interesting information about giraffes? <laughs> That's awesome. Um, okay, lots of new information about giraffes. Let's figure out how many days we've been in school. What? And then we're going to read a story. Mommy, why, we're going why to are add, you a teacher? Why am I a teacher? Because I like being with children and I like helping them learn. And it like brings me joy. But you were in this class when you were a kid. No. So you weren't a teacher. You were not a teacher when you were a kid. Noni was. That's right. Noni was a teacher when I was a little girl. <laughs> mm -hmm. But now you're a Noni teacher. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. We're going to add one more straw to our... I'm going to angle you guys down a little bit. To our the one straw. The giraffe's going to give you a kiss. Oh, the giraffe's going to give me a kiss? Mwah. You gotta put your hair up in a ponytail. Okay, no. okay, let's count how many days we've been in school. We're gonna start with our ten oh, packs. No, he isn't. It's been a very messy ponytail because we haven't done it since you woke up. Here we go. Help us count. Let's whisper mm. count. Are you ready to whisper count? Mm. Whisper count. I don't know. Well, then you. Okay, here we go. Mm. Ten. Mm. Twenty. Seventy-two. 
from a bin and look how long he has. His head there. Yeah. Look at what time is it? Let's see. Remember when R, uh, we have a second hand that counts the seconds that are on the clock. We have a minute hand that points to the minutes and we have an hour hand. Right now, we are in the nine o'clock hour. Our hour hand helps us know what hour we're in. And we are how many minutes past nine o'clock? One, two, three, four, five. It is nine oh five for us. But a lot of you, it's probably 10 oh five or 11 oh five or eight oh five. Can you scooch over, Rover? Look who's looking out a window. Uh -huh. All right, I'm going to scoot you guys over. We are going to grab. We need to stretch a little bit, don't we? You guys ready to shake your wiggles out? I'm going to stand up. Shake, shake, shake my wiggles out. Shake, shake, shake my wiggles out. Shake, shake. Shake my wiggles out and wiggle my waggles away. I'm going to stretch. He was shaking his wiggles. I'm going to stretch, stretch, stretch my sleep feet out. Stretch, stretch, stretch my sleep feet out. Stretch, stretch, stretch my sleep feet out. Wiggle my waggles away. We're going to clap now. I'm going to clap, 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 clap feet out. Clap, clap. Clap my clappies out, clap, clap, clap my clappies out, wiggle my waggles away, sit down. Okie dokies, we're going to read a story. Okay, can you please not do that? My knees hurt, so I'm going to sit on the ground instead of on my knees, and I'm going to angle this down. Oh, look at you sitting so nicely. Good job. All right, this book is called there was an old lady who swallowed some snow. Are you ready, kids? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. This giraffe wants to, to go on a seat. Where is there a perfect seat for him um, that he can stand up in? I don't know if he stands very well. And see the Kinsey has this little giraffe, and she's trying to get the giraffe to stand. Maybe we could put him against there. He's kind of he's kind of top heavy, which means he kind of falls forward. His neck's so long. I don't know if we're going to be able to. Can we put him there? Nope. I don't think that he's going to be. Why he you, can go there. No, he can't. Why don't you hold on to him? There was an old lady who swallowed some snow. Have you ever swallowed some snow? Mm, yes. We have a rule that we only eat snow when it's freshly falling from the sky. Because otherwise snow is very, can be very dirty. And we don't know what has been on the snow. This book is by Lucille Calandro. Look at her. Oh my goodness, look at her. It says, surp, surp. Look at her. She's stuffing all that snow in her mouth. There was an old lady who swallowed some snow. I don't know why she swallowed some snow. Perhaps you'll know. Gobble, gobble. There was an old lady who swallowed a pipe. She wasn't the type to gulp down a pipe. Hmm. Hmm. She swallowed the pipe to warm her toes that tickled and tingled from layers of snow. I don't know why she swallowed some snow. Perhaps you'll know. Tickle, tickle, tingle, tingle. Crunch, crunch. There, did I say old lady? Ah. It's not an old lady, it's a cold lady. There was a cold lady who swallowed some coal. What was her goal when she swallowed the coal? She swallowed the coal to keep her pipes glow. She swallowed the pipe to warm her ten toes that tickled and tingled from layers of snow. I don't know why she swallowed some snow. Perhaps you'll know. And look at she says, yummy. There was a cold lady who swallowed a hat. Imagine that, a black brimmed hat. She swallowed the hat before she froze. She swallowed the coal to keep her pipes glow. She swallowed the pipe to warm her ten toes that tickled and tingled from layers of snow. I don't know why she swallowed some snow. Perhaps you know. Look, look at her 
her tummy. Look at all that stuff in her tummy. She's got a hat and some coal and pipes. We're going to make something, Shh, don't but know. don't. We're not going to tell you. There was a cold lady who swallowed a stick. A long brown branch. What a pick. It says crack. Crunch, crunch. Can you imagine? This is a silly book, isn't it? Yeah. Would we ever eat all of these things? And, and, and there's... And there, and there is a book that there was a, there was an old lady who swallowed some stuff. Mm -hmm. Would we ever eat this stuff? No. No. She swallowed the stick. But we would eat fresh snow. Yeah. She swallowed the stick to push down the snow. She swallowed the hat before she froze. She swallowed the coal to keep her pipes closed. Glow. She swallowed the pipe to warm her ten toes that tickled and tingled from layers of snow. I don't know why she swallowed some snow. Perhaps you'll know. Don't put, don't do that. That's distracting because they can hear those noises. And they're really loud because you're right by the phone. There was a cold lady who swallowed a scarf, a long striped scarf. She tried not to barf. It does barf. Sorry. Grow up. She swallowed the scarf because it was so cold. She swallowed the stick to push down the snow. She swallowed the hat before she froze. She swallowed the coal to keep her pipes closed. She swallowed the pipe to warm her ten toes that tickled and tingled from layers of snow. I don't know why she swallowed some snow. Perhaps you know. Look what she's doing. I know. What do you think she's doing? Let's we'll say it out loud. Now, this cold lady had quite enough. So she thought, and she thought, and came up with a plan. She hiccuped twice, and out popped. What do you think out popped? What do you think popped out? There she is. She hiccuped, and everything came out. Come on, pages. She used some of that stick for the nose, I think. The end. What a silly old cold, old cold lady. <laughs> Do old and cold run? Yeah. If you said thumbs up, good job. All right, it is time for us to do the morning message. It's time for us to do the morning message. It's time for us to do the morning message. So get your listening ears on. Why, hello, boys and girls. It's so lovely to be here again. Why, hello there, Mylon Carson. How are you today? Oh, I'm just marvelous. How's that uh, many mumbling mice going? Oh, you know, I just love that. Do you want to hear it again? Do I want to hear your many mumbling mice again? Yes. Well, you are very theatrical when you sing many mumbling mice. Oh, I know. I love being on stage. Well, we can tell that. Would you like, Mommy, would you like to sing it for us? Interrupt her. I will try not to interrupt her, yes. You're right. Okay. Do you want to sing it with us, kids? Do you like listening? Would, would you like to sing it along with us? Many mumbling mice are making the night music in the moonlight. Mighty mice. Let's see here. Here comes Mylon Carson. Let's give her a round of applause. All right, Mylon Carson, you have the stage. Why, thank you. Are you ready to listen to many mumbling mice? That makes an mmm sound. And what sound makes the mmm sound? Many. That will be the letter M. Mumbling. Like the and beginning of my name, Mylon Carson. Here we go. And those are both, that's my sister's middle name and my middle name. Hi, Mylon. Okay. Here we go. Many mumbling mice are making in the music in the moonlight. Mighty nights, yeah. Many mumbling mice are making me the music in the moonlight. Ah, mighty nights, oh yeah, one more time. Many mumbling mice are making me. 
in the music in the mood night. Martinez. Yeah. Jazz hands? Megan's Mommy. losing her mind a little bit. Mommy. What? What, sweetheart? Um, that was very lovely. Should always be in water, not man. Well, mermaid also begins with what sound? Mmm. Mm. The sound of mmm, which is the letter M. Push Are you ready to help us, um, Mylan Carson, read the message? You bitches. Mm, I can't Mommy, message. message begins with mmm. The only thing that begins with M. Did you see our, our, our board up here? I need to put this up over this way. Thank you. All right, let's see. Can you see what is on the board? Let me like share that. Can Mommy? See? Nope, not all the way. Mommy? Oh, yes, I guess you can. What, sweetheart? Oh, thanks for raising your hand. What did you want to say? If, if Big Boy did my video up there, it would be part of my name. That's right. If that's a very one. That's very good. <laughs> Sarah. Uh, I think that might have been my favorite part of camp kindergarten, too. Um, anyways, okay, here we go. Dear class. Your turn. Dear, dear class. Good morning. Oh, well, that's new. Good morning. Kinsey, can you pay attention, please? Today is Friday, January 8th, 2021. Today is Friday, January 8th. 2021. Okay, this one might be long to listen and repeat, so maybe just listen this time, okay? Because there's lots of names and I don't think we'll remember them all. Here we go. Mason, Michael, Mariana, Mia, Maddie, Marie, Madeline, Mackenzie, Mary, Mila, Matthew, Madden, and Milana all begin with M. Love, Miss Megan. Mommy. Love, Miss Megan. Yes, sweetheart. Uh, what was that name again? This is Mackenzie. Mackenzie. That, that, that sounds just like my name. It sounds very close to your name. Very good. Can you please not um, lay over the side like that? Because I don't want you to do that. All right. We have to circle some letters. Are we going to use purple and red? Why don't we use red to start with, because or purple to start with. We need to find all of the capital letter M's. A, purple, green. A capital letter M. Mommy, I want a purple, and purple is there, green is there, and then purple is there. Okay. So, so, so green, purple, purple. I think you might want it to be purple first, because there's a lot more capital letter M's, and we get to use the purple more if we use it for the capital okay, letter M. Okay, purple. Okay. So, a cap purple, green, purple. Okay, a capital That's letter... That's a pattern. Are you done? Mm-hmm. Okay. A capital letter M begins at the sky, goes down to the ground, put it back at the sky, diagonal line down, diagonal line up, vertical line down. Kinsey, can you find all the capital letter M's? There are a lot of them. should read this book. While she's circling all the capital well, letters, I'm the same one. I'll show you the pictures. Here we go. This is the book M. And what sound does M make? Mm -hmm. Mommy, I wanted you to read it while I see it. Okay, then can you circle all the capital letter M quickly, please? Yes. I'm trying to do it. No, don't be scribbly. Just do it quickly. Alright, Kinsey would like to see this book as I read it, so I will wait and be right back. Can you think of any words? What words do you think are going to be up here on our voting for today? What letter, what words begin with M? Which we need to get to that quickly. Hmm. Mommy, I like taking my time. That, you know what? That is right. Taking your time is probably a better thing to do than to do it quickly, right? Because sometimes when we do things quickly, um, we just do it fast to get it done, and we don't really take our time and work hard on it. So you're right. I probably shouldn't have asked you to do it quickly. Can you stick around, please? <laughs> All right. How many more? I can't wait to see 
how many le capital letter M's there are on this message. Hmm. Angel says moon or monkey. Ooh, Angel, did you do you have x-ray vision? Can you see the cards that are up there? I don't know. Ooh, mermaid. Oh, that's a good one. That one should be up there. I don't think it is, though. Well, that's okay. I don't mind. Are you done yet? Nope. No. Nope? Okay, another one. Okay. So many. Let's yeah. see. Um, Angel says mer moon or monkey. Um, we have a we have an idea of mermaids. What other words begin with the mmm sound? Can you think of any? Hmm. Sometimes it's hard to think on the spot of of words that begin with a certain letter. But I might say mommy. Did you find them all? Or Miss Megan. Or can you tell me? Again? You got them all. Let's all count the capital letter M's. There's a lot of them. Yeah, because there's so many names. All right, we're gonna erase this one so we don't get confused. Here we go. Mommy, mommy. What? Yeah, you got it. Sweet job. Can you help us count? Was that a trick? One, two. Oh, let's start up here. Start over. Rewind. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, fifteen. I did fifteen capital letter M's. How do we make a capital or how many how do we make a fifteen? A one and a five. Start at the top and down we run. That's the way we make a one and a five. Fat Mr. Five goes down and around. Put a hat on top and see what you find. How do you do that? Fat Mr. Five, put your marker up at the top, goes down and around, put a hat on top, and see what you found. Did you see how Kinsey was air writing that with me? That was awesome, Kinsey. Fat Mr. Five, here, can I help you? Yeah. Okay, that's okay, we're still working on them, right? No. Fat Mr. Five goes down and around, put a hat on top, and see what you found. Good job. Well, I told you with mommy. Well, you know what? I'm a lot older than you, and I've been making fives a lot longer. So my fives are probably going to be better because I've had lots more practice. All right, lowercase m. Get those camel humps ready. A lowercase m. Let go, please. Starts at the fence. And we go down to the ground. Camel hump number one. Camel hump number two. All right, kids, let's find those lowercase m's. I'll give you a clue. I believe there's only one. One lowercase m. Two. Two lowercase m's. One at the beginning and one at the end. Mommy, oh, hi, Catherine. Mommy. Mommy. Oh. Please not look. I'm not looking. Like Mad. Me. Mask. Very good. These are all good ideas. Um, morning. Message. Mail. Um, Mickey Mouse, said Logan. Money. Um, good, good, good. Look at all these. All right. No, I'm not. I, 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 I forgot. I forgot. I forgot. I forgot. Okay, I'm going to get moving. Mm, mm, mm. Moving. Look. So, goodbye. Toodaloo. I'll see you another day. Bye. Mommy. What? We have to forget to count our food. Oh, well, you know what? We are almost out of time and we need to vote, so we're going to do this fast. One, two. There are two lowercase m's. Around and back on the railroad track. Two, two, two. Let's count them all. One, two, 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 two three, four, five, five six, seven, eight, nine, six, ten, ten, eleven, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. If a fifteen. Seven and a one. If a fifteen is a one and a five, a seventeen is a one and a. A one and then a seven. So the one goes first and then the seven. Okay? Very good. All right. I tried to make my that was great. Like those. 15 plus 2 equals 17. That was a big math equation. Oh, and Minnie Mouse, Monkey, Moo. Very good. All right, we need to do our voting very quickly because we are almost out of time. You know what? I don't want you to touch those, please. I don't want I, here's, to. here's why. These have magnets on the back. And when you drag them across the whiteboard, do you see how there's all these scratches on the whiteboard? Mm -hmm. um, those scratches are from the magnets. Um,
scratching up the board. So we have to be very, very, very careful when we take magnets off and put magnets on because my board is so old and scratched up that sometimes, see all these lines here? Those are never coming out because those are scratches. Can you scoosh over a little bit? Oh, I want to take that. All right. Are you ready to see our words for voting today? Um, ba -da -ba. I got it. Got it? All right. Moon. Word number one is moon. Word number two is, show them. Mittens. Mittens. Word number three is. Mustache. Mustache. I mustache your question. Oh, number. word number four is monkey. Monkey. Thank you. So I want to do this. I want to do all of it and put them all. We're gonna. We're very quickly running out of time, sweetheart. Okay. Oh, oh, mouse. We, we got. We got to show them. Show them. Mouse. Mouse. She voted for moon and monkey. Kinsley, and what do you vote for? Moon and monkey too. Did you voted for moon and monkey too? Okie dokie, let's see what everybody votes for. Hey, mommy, mommy, mommy. What, sweetheart? Well, this line is bigger than she's right. bigger than All right, two and for monkey. I'm little than, than, than I'm little. Two for monkey. <gasps> One for moon. Yeah. One for monster. Yeah. One for money. Yeah. One for monkey. Boop. Yeah. One for moon. Yeah. One for monster. Yeah. One for moon and another for monster. One, two, three, four. Good, Boop. good, good, good. One for money. Boop. Uh, another money. Another monkey. Another moon. Boop. We got lots of voting today. We have Jacob says monkey. Or nope, Jacob says money. Brody says mouse. Um, another one for monster. Another vote for money. Uh, one vote for mouse. And another one for money. And another vote, two votes for a mouse. We got one vote for mustache. One vote for mittens. Um, um, um two, one vote for mo moon. One vote for monkey. Another vote for monkey. Another vote for, oh, another vote for moon. Um, another vote for a monster. One more for mittens. Oh my goodness, so many votes. Another from. We already did yours. Thanks, sweetheart. Um, another vote for a mouse. Look at this is a close race. Moon and monster and monkey and moon. Boop. And let's see here. Another for monkey and another for mouse. Look at this, this is a tight, tight race. One for mittens, one for monster. All right, we're gonna stop our voting in another one for mustache. We already counted yours, another for mustache. Hey, you're this big monkey. Another for mustache, ooh, mustache coming back down the pipe. Another for moon, another for monkey, another three for monkey, boop, boop, boop. Uh, let's see here, two more for money, boop, boop. One more for monster. Let's see here, two more for mittens. Oh my goodness, look at this tight race. Kenzie, can you count for 10? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Oops. 2, 1. Woo. Time's up. 
Let's count our votes. Hands up. Hands up. All right, let's count our votes. Remember, um, a five. four vertical lines and a diagonal line makes a five pack. So we're going to circle those five packs as we count. Help me count for no, moving. Sure. Oh, shh, honey. Uh, no. I, we're now, no, we're now. Fine. Can you do it quickly? for mittens, kids? Five. Five. How many votes for mustache? Count them. One, two, three, four. How many votes for monkey? Five. Five. Ten. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. How many votes for mouse? Five. Six, seven, eight. How many votes for money? Five, ten. Ten votes for money. And how many votes for monster? Five, ten. And one more makes eleven. Okay, one more five packs, huh? Fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty, forty-five, fifty. 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. Okay, let's see here. Which number is the biggest? 12, 5, 4, 17, 8, 10, or 11? Which one is the biggest, Kinsey? 12. Not 12. 10. Look at our numbers here. Which one looks like it has the most? Monkey. Monkey. We've got three five packs with monkey. So monkey is for sure going up on our board. If your vote, if what you voted for doesn't end up on our board, is that okay? You betcha, because it's just fun to vote, right? Twelve. <laughs> That's right. Twelve is the next biggest <coughs> number. I voted for again. I voted for this again. Okay, so moon is going to go up on our board. Kinsey, what's the next biggest number? Ten. Nope. Eleven, very good. Eleven. Monster is going to go up on our board. And finally, what's the next biggest number? I wish it was five. Money, very I good. I wish it was that. Mitten? I wish that was there. So that, so this. Goes. So our words going up on the board will be moon, monkey, monster, and bunny. We are four minutes Mommy, over today. <laughs> That one should not be the tallest because there's only two. Okay. Um, all right. We are four minutes over today. Um, so let me give some birthday shout outs. I'm going to go, Mom. Okay. Can you say goodbye to everybody? Come, on, come over here and say goodbye. Say have a nice weekend. Have a nice weekend. And bye because today I'm going to daddy. Mm -hmm. All right. And I'm going to go home. All right, um, today is Samuel's birthday. Will He's you, turning five. After, will you blow up the balloon that's in that chair? Uh, we'll see. And on Sunday, Gwendolyn, Sandy, or Sandy, and Tri uh, turn five, and Tristan turns six. If it is your birthday, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday if it's your birthday. Happy birthday to you. All right, everybody. Thank you for joining us this week. Next week, we will move on to the letter N. Um, learn a couple of new popcorn words and have some more fun. So I hope you have a wonderful weekend. We'll be back here on Monday at 830 in the morning, Central Time. And remember that what makes you different is what makes you beautiful. Always work hard to be kind and choose your attitude, right? Everybody needs to choose their attitude. Choose how you want to be. That's all I got. So I'll see you Monday. Toodaloo.